stayed at our first Harvest Host last night. It was absolutely fun and you're not going to believe who was with us. Stick around to the end of this video to find out how it went at our first night at a Harvest Host, where we were and who we met up here on the road. Joel, Deb, and Maya here welcoming you to join us in our journey for Chasing RV Sunshine. and Joel from Chasing RV Sunshine here. We are heading over to our county, but first we had to stop up to pick up some great Wisconsin cheese. There's nothing better than a local cheese store from Wisconsin. Yellowstone cheese. Cheese. You should stop in and check it out. The cheese is absolutely fabulous and Joel's favorite is... The Triple X Habanero. That was an interesting one. We're on the road. I made some buffalo chicken wraps that we can eat. Uh, we just had a quick stopover and filled ourselves up with propane as it's going to be cold uh, for the next couple of nights while we're out our being in Door County. But tonight we're actually really super excited. We're going to be at our first Harvest Host. Hi guys, sorry about that. Totally forgot to explain what a Harvest Host was at the beginning of this video. Harvest Host is a network of wineries, breweries, distilleries, farms, and attractions that invite our beers to stay at approximately 14,000 stunning campsites. There is a $179 membership that gives members unlimited access to stay overnight at any one of the Harvest Host locations. They kindly ask that our members support each of their hosts by purchasing one of their local products with each state. Requirements for joining the program are you must have self-contained RV with toilet, water tank, inside cooking facilities. No tents of any kind are allowed. Each time that a member joins, you are given an affiliate link that your friends and family can join you at a Harvest Host and get a certain percent off along with giving you some money back. We are affiliate and we will leave the link below. We did meet up with Living the Silver Life who is an amazing RV channel and we advise you to check them out. 
Bill and Deanna and Scout are some of our favorite people and we are so glad that we got to meet them out on the road and at our first Harvest Host. Bare Bones Brewery, located in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, has a creative mix of brews ranging from the traditional to the innovative. 2015, Bare Bones Brewery opened its doors to being the first craft brewery to Oshkosh, Wisconsin in 20 years. Founded by Dan and Patty, they strive to push the envelope with your unique take on American-style craft beers while providing quality beer drinking experience off the beaten path. By their name alone, you should know already that they are very dog friendly. They would allow dogs in the brewery itself. However, we were told by staff that someone complained to the health department and now dogs are only allowed out on the patio. Yep, the guy in the mural was the owner's son and our bartender. Are you awake, Scout? Uh, hi. Good morning. Harvest Host is a program. There are some rules that you do have to be self-contained. There are generator rules at each place that you should not run your generator unless you actually have permission. And you should not run them from only from 8 until 10 p.m. Highly recommend Harvest Host. We had a great time. Bare Bones Brewery did have a porta potty along with a drinking fountain located near the area where RVs are to park. They also do provide poop bags to pick up after your pet. Make sure you do that as you do not want to be a rude guest and it's always required that you leave a place better than what you had originally arrived in. The sites were spacious and they allowed approximately four RVs at one spot. We were along the interstate in Oshkosh that leads up to the Green Bay area and down to Milwaukee to the south. It was not loud while we were sleeping. However, it was extremely windy while we were there. And at one point, both Deanna and I thought our roofs were blowing off on each of our RV. Also kind of neat, they do have chickens that during certain times of the year roam free on the grounds. Once again, Maya loves the chickens. We highly suggest you join Harvest Host and stick around here for the bloopers. Yeah. So, this is my cousin Jimmy. He is a local from Oshkosh, Wisconsin. He is famous for being on the <laughs> fishing report for a local radio station, and his nickname is The Hammer. What's your fishing report, Hammer? <laughs> I went out today and caught nothing, but most days I catch nothing. And uh, I'm more famous for singing in Savannah, Georgia. What'd you sing? Filthy songs. Yeah. They're, they love me there. I was the mayor of Tybee Island. All right, well, <laughs> thank you, Hammer. <laughs> this is Yellowstone. Uh, cheese, <laughs> Yellowstone. Hi, Deb here for Chasing RV Sunshine. We stayed at our first Harvest Coast, and look who's with us. It's living the silver life. This, we stayed at our first Harvest Coast. 
thanks for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you can get notified when our next video is out. Look forward to upcoming videos while we're traveling with Living the Silver Life as we go to the Green Bay Packers Stadium and travel to Door County, Wisconsin. Don't forget to subscribe to them as well and miss and love everyone.